My Dear Suicide is a um, book that I wrote and it starts off um, very um, gloomy and um, and continues for for uh, most part of the book. Now, um, the character in the book is talking about their perceptions um, of a very hard situation that they're going through. And, um, it's, they feel weighted down and the entire book talks about, um, how they feel about it and what they want to do, um, about it. And, um, suicide in this book is used as a metaphor. Suicide relates to anyone that reads this book in the sense that, um, in this book, you can implant yourself into the, um, situation and, um, into the, into the words, into the storyline and any situation that you're going through, um, you'll be able to, um, see the formula of, um, a, um, a heavy occurrence, just a, um, a trial in your life, just a, um, um, a bad relationship, um, something at work, something, um, within your community, that's really stressing you out over a long period of time, it will weigh you down. It'll cause you to have certain thoughts in this book. I have where, um, um, suicide is the things that we have a relationship with that keep us separated from God. So we can have a relationship with ourselves and our, maybe our, um, um, the, at the time, my thing I was struggling with most, um, um, just over other things were, uh, was self-righteousness and pride and, um, uh, self, self, same thing, self-absorbency. So, um, that's the relationship I had with, um, at that time. And so, uh, at the time I wrote this book, I was able to, um, to look back on poems that I had written and saw how absor- self-absorbed I was. And I was able to see that only when I spent time in the word, because my expression of self in, um, poems that I had, um, collected over the years, um, where, uh, I could see and discern where my focus was at the time. So now, so when I read, um, this same book, I can see that I also have a relationship with, um, a couple of other, um, um, uh, behaviors and habits that keep me away from honoring God. I put that front, um, in front and I'm able to discern, discern way quicker that, Hey, that perspective isn't the way, um, that, um, mindset isn't the way. So, um, um, you reading this book, you'll, um, I want you to know that in the beginning, it's super dark, super gloomy, super um, sorrowful. It really is. And toward the middle, I have where the thoughts of the character are responded back to by um, the enemy himself. And so when you're reading that, um, so when I first wrote it, I was able to (sighs) differentiate. The thoughts that I had concerning the situation and the thoughts that, um, in, in scripture. So I don't, I, I didn't think scripture at that time. I didn't know scripture. I didn't read scripture at the time that I wrote the book, but I knew, uh, that I, um, but what I did know is that, um, there are scripture that challenges the thoughts I was having, um, towards the situation I was experiencing. So, um, that I did know. So each time I thought something, I would write it down. And over a course of time, I was able to, to study that particular emotion and, um, and that perspective and just, um, analyze what, what the origin of that thought and that feeling is concerning, um, uh, just, uh, concerning that time period when I wrote that, um, statement, that sentence, that thought, that feeling, and the, it, uh, most of the, um, uh, most of the, the, like the baseline mindset was self-righteousness, self-absorbency. So I have like, even in cryptic font where Satan will respond 
to the thoughts that um, I have. Now I get more exaggerated and I elongated um, the situation for the sake of the book. But um, um, I use... I use scripture to, um, I use scripture in my book to, um, provide a contrast. Uh, scripture was not what I was thinking immediately, but I did know that scripture, um, um, I, my thoughts did not align up with scripture. So toward the end, I have some relative scripture that can be used to, um, speak back to the thoughts that I was having at the time that you may or may not be having at the time so that, um, you can, um, um, can you, you can cut down the thoughts that you're having that separate you from God, um, in the situation that you're having in the trial that you're having. And you can um, focus on what God would want you to be, how he would want you to be responding at this time. Don't assert your perception as the truth. F assert his truth as the truth. F write down your feelings and, and try to discern what the, what the overall feeling is, the overall, um, yeah. Thought is you feel like you shouldn't be going through this situation. You feel like, um, you want to escape not so much life, but you more so just escape the situation and you just feel weighed down. You feel, and then look up those particular topics, um, in the Bible. And there are, um, men and women in scripture that are going through trials that, w that went through trials. And because of that, um, we have the opportunity to see how they responded and they pleased our way, um, in the way that they responded. They sought his knowledge. They shared with him how, um, they are feeling and those that did want to, um, do otherwise that Jonah had a whole different plan. He's like, I already know you're going to forgive the people in Nineveh. So now get somebody else or, um, um, Elijah, who wanted to, he asked, can you take my life? Uh, Job, who went through an, um, a long period of time where the situation was stressful and he lamented and, and um, checked the words that he expressed, the things he actually said in scripture. And um, that's how we align our thoughts with his thoughts. And that's my goal in how uh, that's my goal in, um, in writing. Uh, so check out my book, My Dear Suicide and Mind's Road to Redemption. It's available on Amazon, um, and barnesandnoble.com for a, an actual tangible book as well as a, um, ebook. Thank you. And, um, not just reading it. I would love your feedback, what it uh, meant to you, how it, um, just, uh, in feelings and, and, and in thought, um, share that. All right. Take care.